On November the 16th, 1963, Air Force One touched down at the Cape Skid Strip, bringing President Kennedy on his third visit to America's spaceport. He was welcomed by Major General Leighton I. Davis, commander of the Air Force Missile Test Center, NASA Administrator James Webb, and NASA Launch Operations Center Director Kurt Davis. The President moved out quickly on his whirlwind tour, stopping outside the Saturn blockhouse on Complex 37 for a Project Gemini briefing by Air Force astronauts Cooper and Grissom. After another briefing inside the blockhouse on Project Apollo, the President and his party, which included Florida's Senator Smathers, drove to the base of the giant Saturn. Saturn will carry an American crew to the moon in this decade, a goal established by the young President shortly after he took office in 1961. The President then boarded a nearby helicopter for an aerial tour of the space launch areas and a 30-mile flight to the USS Observation Island. Commander-in-Chief was piped aboard. Donning a sailor's jacket, he looked every inch the naval officer he was during World War II. The fleet performed flawlessly, and President Kennedy saw his first Cape missile launch, a Polaris, from the submerged nuclear submarine, the Andrew Jackson. A proud commander congratulated a proud crew. The President returned to the Cape by helicopter. His visit expressed his continuing support for the nation's space program. President Kennedy bids his farewells.